no matter how well you think you know algebra this particular question you cannot solve it with the knowledge of algebra hmm then what do we do how do we now solve this we are going to use the lambert the lambert w function okay so this is what we are going to use don't worry i'm going to explain now this is similar to natural log okay the natural log function if we have e to the power of x is equal to 3 okay in order to solve for x here what are we going to do we are going to take the natural log of both sides right then this x we come down we have that x is equal to this okay so that means that if you want to use the natural log function the whatever you are solving or your expression must be in this form all right you must put it in this form okay before you can plug it in into your natural log function to get your solution now this is similar to what we are about to do this is the w the lambda w function this is how it looks if you plug in an expression in this form okay we are going to get this as your solution very lovely right yes for example if you have this expression like 3e to the power of 3 okay now that if you plug this into the w function you are going to get 3 amazing right yes now this is what we are going to do to this particular equation we are going to try our best to put it in this form okay so that we'll be able to get this when we plug it into the W Lambert function. Okay, so all, our, all we'll do now is to ensure that we try to manipulate the whole of this to look like this, or the whole of this to look like this. Now, let's do that. First of all, let's leave this one alone. Let's just leave this to the power of X alone. Let's transfer this plus X to the other side. So if we do that, we will have that 2 to the power of X is 5 minus x right okay now um let's divide both sides by 2 to the power of x okay divided by 2 to the power of x if we do that we have 1 is equal to 5 minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of minus x yes because this particular equation here is the same thing as 5 minus x times 1 over 2 to the power of x okay and recall the law of indices that states that x 1 over x is same thing as x to the power of minus 1 okay so that's why i replaced this with what multiply by 2 to the power of minus x okay Whew. now recall that this is our what our goal now we have this this is this and our power is just this but we can make them to be the same by just if I add 5 to this power now, the power and this particular one will become the same, right? They will look alike. They will be the same. So let's go ahead and do that. So all I need to do is to just add 5 here. But I can't just do that. Because whatever I do to this side, I must do it to the other side of the equation. Now, for me to add 5 to this place, I will now have 2 to the power of minus x plus 5. But... Recall this law of indices. This law states that a to the power of y multiplied by a to the power of x. Let me put it this way, okay? Is equal to a to the power of y plus x. All right? So that means this is already in this form. I need to what? Split it in this form. That means that this particular one is the same thing as 2 to the power of minus x multiplied by 2 to the power of 5, right? So this and this are the same now if both of them are the same that means what i literally did is that i multiplied this side of the equation by what 2 to the power of 5 so i will also multiply the left hand side by 2 to the power of 5 okay so let's do that that means i've added 5 here already so all i'll do is to multiply this side by 2 to the power of 5 so i will write 1 times <laughs> 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5, okay, is equal to 5 minus x 
then 2 to the power of minus x plus 5. Hmm, are you seeing anything? Yes, we've actually gotten what we wanted. But no, we have not. We have 2 here, but what we're supposed to have there is e. <laughs> yes, that's what we're supposed to have. We are not supposed to have 2. Hmm, another wahala. So what do we do then? We need to introduce e to this place. And it's very easy. Yes. Because e of what? Ln of 2 is also 2. Yes. Because this will do what? We cancel this. We are left with just 2. So e ln 2 is what? 2. So we can actually replace this 2 with what? E ln of 2. Okay. So let's do that then. So we now have 1, point, 1 times 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Is equal to... 5 minus x, then e ln 2, okay, minus x plus 5. Perfect. But we've already rearranged this again. Yes, look at it now. Can you see something? We already have ln 2 here, ln of 2 here, and there's no ln of 2. And recall that whatever we have here must be the same with what we have here. So that means we need to introduce ln of 2 this side as well. So that means we need to multiply this by ln of 2. And whatever we do to this side, we should do that to this side as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have to write 32 ln of 2 is equal to 5 minus x ln 2. Then we have our e raised to the power of what? Minus, okay, now, let me stop confusing us. Minus x plus 5 is same thing as 5 minus x, right? So let me write it well. So this is same thing as 5 minus x, okay? Now, perfect. We have what? 5 minus x ln 2. I also have 5 minus x ln 2. This ln 2. Hmm. Now, what do we do? We are now in a position to plug this into the W function. Yes. Because the W of this, this side, let's write, or let's first of all write the main one, this side. <laughs> the W of this, that is 5 minus x, okay, align 2, E, 5 minus x, align 2. Okay, the W of this is equal to, we have to also take the W function of this side. So the W of 32 link 2. Wow. But we are asked to solve for X and not all that we just wrote. But using the lambda W function, this particular side of the equation, the solution becomes 5 minus X link 2, right? So this side becomes 5 minus X Lean 2 is equal to this of 32 lean 2. All right. So, first of all, let's divide both sides of the equation by lean 2. Because by so doing, we'll be left with just 5 minus x. Okay? So, divided by lean 2, divided by lean 2. Now, lean 2, we cancel lean 2. And we have 5 minus x is equal to this. Okay, perfect. So we need to add 5 to both sides of this equation, right? Remember that we are looking for what? X. So let's add 5 to both sides of this equation. If we do that, we will have, um, sorry, let's subtract 5 because this is 5 minus X. Let's subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. So we'll have that minus X is equal to this. 32 ln 2 over ln 2. Okay. All right. Um, minus 5. We are going to subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. We just did. But recall that this is negative x and we need the value of x. So to get the value of x, we just do what? We just multiply through by minus 1. And if we do that, this becomes x is equal to this minus 5 becomes plus 5. This plus W function of whatever becomes minus the W of what? 32 ln of 2 divided by 
ln of 2. Okay, now this is a perfect solution, okay? This is a perfect solution, but if you still have a calculator that has this w function, you can plug in this. You are going to get a number, divide it by this, by ln 2. What you got then, 5 minus whatever you got, you are going to get an approximate value of 1.7. One six or something thereabout. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.